Thanks for tuning in to Stocks of the Hour, I'm Abby Phillips. Magnus Energy Technologies has completed an update to the 2016 BFS for its Natu Graphite project in Tanzania and confirms that the project continues to demonstrate strong financial and technical viability. We spoke with CEO David Taylor on the completion of the BFS update this morning. Uh, today's announcement is a very, very exciting uh, moment for, for Natu. Um, it certainly represents one of the best graphite production opportunities in today's market, producing a high quality sustainable product that requires minimal purification, placing Magnus in a strong competitive position relative to others in the market. The update to the BFS is focused on improving the plant process design to ensure it maintains our product quality advantage, utilizing a more sustainable and efficient power supply and reviewing the overall capital and operating costs of the project. Shares are trading 1.3% higher at 40 cents. Emerging lithium producer Sayona Mining announced it's advancing the restart of production at its North American lithium operation, awarding a four-year approximately $200 million Canadian dollar contract to Quebec company Fournier and Fills for mining operations. Under the agreement, Fournier will be responsible for supervision of all stripping and drilling, blasting, loading and transportation of ore and waste rock, the maintenance of mining roads and all of the services related to operations. Sayona Quebec CEO commented, We are thrilled that this commercial agreement is not only a win-win solution for both parties, but it also allows us to work with a local company. This partnership with Fornia therefore helps fulfil our promise to ensure that the success of the projects delivered genuine benefits to the local community. Shares are trading 6.8% higher at $0.24. Cents. Australian clean energy company Pure Hydrogen Corporation has advised that hydrogen fuel cell EV manufacturer H2X Global has confirmed the initial production release of its Warrego all-wheel drive pickup. The pickup is now undergoing final validation and verification testing procedures in the Netherlands as it heads towards formal certification in Europe and global markets. Australian certification testing will be commenced soon. H2X Global CEO and founder Brendan Norman said the completion of the first Warrego pickup was a milestone of success for the company. It's extremely satisfying that our team now have the Warrego running through the final stages of its engineering, safety and on-road verification program. Shares are trading 4.3% higher at $0.24. Cents. Following the recent announcement of the NT Lithium Project tenement being granted, Ragusa Minerals has advised progress towards the commencement of the Maiden Drill Program at the project with the completion of site preparation earthworks, including access track and drill pad clearing. Shares are trading 35.9% higher at $0.43. Cents.